Okay, so in this case, for a given geometric sequence, the ninth term is 31 over, not, 31 over 8, and the thirteenth term is equal to 62, and they want to know what a sub 16 is. Okay. Well, we, we, we can't have two variables in our equation, so we need to calculate r first. You're always going to do that first. So we're going to take these two values that you're given first to calculate r. Since one is not, if we had a13 and a12, then we can use our little trick we had earlier. But otherwise, we just have to plug this into the formula. So we're basically going to take a13, set it equal to, um, let's make that a really long equal sign, a sub 9, and that is supposed to be a 9 down there, okay, times r to the n minus m, so 13 minus 9. Okay, so let's plug in the things we know here still. a sub 13 is 62. That equals 31 over 8 times r to the fourth power. Okay, so now to to, um, we've got to get r by itself, so we want to undo this 31 over 8 times r, so we're going to um, divide both sides by 31 over 8, which is the same as multiplying it by 8 over 31 times 62. I'm going to put that over 1. And when I do that over here to the other side, we can see when we multiply it by its reciprocal, those cancel out. Okay. And it's just going to leave us with this r to the fourth over here. And we can see 31 over 62, hey, that's, I can divide both of these by 31. That gives me 1 and a 2. And 8 times 2 is 16. And now remember, to undo the fourth power, we need to take the fourth root. And if this, was a, if this is a positive root value, so this is the like a 4, 2, 4, 6, 8, then we need to consider the plus or minus possibility because it could have been positive or negative before I raised it to the fourth. So when I'm undoing it, I need to consider the positive or negative possibility. That is supposed to be an equal sign, the fourth root of r to the fourth. And so you can see the fourth root of r to the fourth will cancel out and gives me just r. And what number multiplied by itself four times gives me 16, that would be two. So you get r is plus or minus 2 here. Okay, so we're going to need this value, and we're going to then basically use our formula again, but plug in the information so we can find a sub 16. So a sub 16 equals, so we're going to use either a sub 9 or a sub 13, and I'm going to use a sub 13 because it's not a fraction and no other reason than that, times r, r we know is plus or minus 2, and I'm going to put it as plus or minus 2 here for now, and then we'll see if we need to, we'll either get one or two solutions here depending on what value r is going to end up being. So I'll show you, I mean, um, this exponent is going to end up being. So let's see, then we need to do 16 minus 13. So we'll get a sub 16, we'll replace a13 with 62 times plus or minus 2 to the, what's 16 minus 13? That is a 3. Okay. So we're going to take that 3 And we need to raise 2 to the third and also negative 2 to the third. Okay. So we're going to basically end up with 62 times 2 to the third or 62 times a negative 2 to the third power. Okay. So this is going to end up giving us 62 times 8 or 62 times a negative 8. And so that, let's see, that's going to give us um, 498 
oops, 96. Or a negative 496. And this is what a sub 16 equals. So um, depending on whether the r value ended up being positive or negative, will depend on which of these. So you list both of your solutions. a sub 16 is 496 or negative 496. If this value ended up being an even number, like let's say it was raised to the second or fourth power or sixth power, when you, when you raise it to that power, it's an even value. And even if you have a negative, it's going to end up being a positive. So both cases will end up giving you just one answer.